remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? FBI Director Christopher Wray says the FBI is now judging white nationalists on the same footing as ISIS and other sympathizers. Really? So, at what point did they come to this revelation? that ISIS had a little baby named white supremacist. He said that white supremacist is America's most persistent threat at home and abroad. He said white supremacist, these white nationalists, he actually went on record and he compared them to ISIS and other sympathizers. And he is dead on. Hammer to the nail. On the head. He got it. We've been saying this all along. These dudes are terrorists. Nothing, nothing less than terrorists. That's what they are. They've always been terrorists. Same thing with the, with the Klan. Why isn't the Klan on the list? It's the same thing. All of them, it's just different. They're just going under different name. Klan, white nationalists, um, what do you call them? Uh, skinheads, um, brotherhood, uh, Republicans, Democrats. Ah, it's all the same, man. It's all the same. They're everywhere, all in the police department. So that's something that I like to see them do. I like to see them pay attention to that. Now, just because he's recognizing that these guys on the same level don't mean they're going to do anything about it. I seriously doubt that they're going to do anything about it because they've been knowing that these guys exist. They've been knowing that white nationalists are a terror to America or a threat to American security, to national security. They've been knowing this. And now he's just putting it out on paper. He's putting a report out on it. The thing is, what are you going to do about it? Especially since America likes to go around and try to force its so-called moralities on other countries. Now that you've admitted it, that right here you got homegrown terrorists right here in America who's a greater threat than terrorists abroad to American security. So what are you going to do about it? Because you can't go over there to, to China and North Korea and pointing the finger at Russia or Iran or Afghanistan or none of those people. Iraq, you can't try to call those people out and you're running around here doing even worse. You can't even get yourself together. You know, it's an old saying, clean your own house before you try to clean somebody else's house. And for centuries, America has went around acting like a maid to other countries while her house is in shambles, dirty, filthy as hell. So again, I ask you, what are you going to do about it? Anybody can talk. I want to know if you're about that action. No more talk. What the talking about?